Hello everybody, today I'm at the North American International Auto Show taking a look at the slightly redesigned 2022 Jeep Compass Limited. Starting off up front, with the Limited you are going to get the full LED uh, light package, signature Jeep grill with your front facing camera right here in the middle Jeep slat. Parking sensors are going to be on the bottom portion of the bumper, and then this is where your sensor for your lane keep assist and adaptive cruise control is going to be, either or, I always get them confused. Really nice hydro blue like color as the exterior with this gloss black two-tone. This guy does have cross path detection, gloss black um, fender flares that start out on the bumper and then the gloss black pretty much continues throughout the entirety of the uh, bottom portion of the vehicle. Coming down to the wheel and tire setup, it looks like we have some Continental Cross Contacts and it looks like this is a 19 inch Jeep um, gray and machined wheel. Your compass badging is gonna be right here. Black mirror cap with your 360 degree um, camera system, um, mirror mounted camera right there. Again, a lot of vehicles nowadays are doing this um, two tone from the A-pillar back and I think it actually looks pretty good. Um, having all monotone can sometimes be a little much, but because there's no, there's very little chrome on here, if any, uh, having the gloss black actually looks really good in my opinion. Right here we have your blind spot monitor. This guy does have the passive entry system, so as long as you have the key fob on you, you can lock and unlock the vehicle from the driver or passenger door. Coming around to the back, we have your capless fuel fill port, full LED, LED tail lamps, Parking sensors are integrated into the upper portion of the bumper back here. Your limited badge is gonna be on the passenger side and your four x four badge is gonna be on the driver's side. Backup camera is gonna be right underneath the Jeep logo. These little compasses are pretty stout, stout little SUVs. I actually like them and the uh, interior update was uh, much needed and I think they did a really good job. So with that, let's take a closer look at the interior. So starting out over here on the left hand side, we have a really nice color combination in here with this nice tan, this dark almost caramel brown, and then this black. It actually looks really, really nice. Right here we have your lock and unlock buttons as well as your window controls. The front driver and passenger windows are automatic up and down. And then in front of that we have the mirror controls. Over here we have the rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle as well as your dimmer switch for the instrument or the ambient lighting and then your dimmer switch for the instrument cluster. Coming up top to the instrument cluster it is 100% digital. Hopefully I can get that to cycle for you guys. If not, oh there we go. It was thinking about it. Pretty cool. I like that the automotive industry is moving towards a more digital instrument cluster. Um, it's a lot more customizable and you can monitor whatever uh, parameters of your choosing. Coming back to the steering wheel, very nice uh, thick leather wrap steering wheel with mild bolsters at 10 and 2. This control pad right here controls the center LCD display on the instrument cluster. And then we have your steering wheel mounted phone controls. Over here we have your uh, adaptive cruise control buttons as well as your lane keep assist and then your regular cruise buttons. Right here we have your push button start and again this caramel brown leather throughout looks absolutely amazing. That brings us to the touchscreen display. This is the new Uconnect 5 system. You can pretty much control everything th uh, through this touchscreen display. Air conditioning, heated seats, heated steering wheel, wireless car play, wireless Android Auto, navigation, um, everything. It, this thing is so awesome, it's so responsive, perfect UI. You can have up to three cards now on here at once instead of the typical two like there was in the Ram. Go to the vehicle because this is a Jeep. Uh, I actually don't, uh, I'm not able to do that, sorry. Um, Lots of cool features through here. Very, very cool. 3D maps. Uh, I think they've done an absolute awesome job with their UI, and I believe you can get Amazon Alexa and a 4G LTE connection out here as well. Under that, we have physical buttons. We have your automatic start, stop, off. It is on by default, if I can get that to focus. Traction control off. Lane keep assist off. Hazard light button. Parking sensors off. Parallel park on. Very sleek, minimalist style air conditioning vents. Right here we have all of the control, the physical controls for the radio, right here and here. 
as well as the physical controls for your dual zone climate. Under that we have a USB and USB Type-C, as well as a wireless charging mat. Electronic parking brake right here. I believe this is your drive mode selector. And then we have your uh, gear selector with manual plus minus. And then we have your four wheel drive lock button. Behind that we have two cup holders with a perfect cutout for the key fob. And then we have a really nice small armrest that doubles as a storage compartment. Beautiful leather seats in this vehicle. Jeep is stamped into the leather. Coming around to the glove box, we have a really big glove box for this size of vehicle. The vanity is incandescent lit for the passenger as well as your driver. Driver vanity has a three door universal garage remote. Right here we have the button to raise and or open and close the trunk. Your dome light master controls are all right here. They are all incandescent it looks like. And then these buttons right here actually control the twin pane sunroof. And then in front of that, we have your auto dimming rear view mirror with SOS. So overall, I really do like the mild refresh of the compass. I think they did a really, really good job. Let's take a closer look at the back and see how much legroom we have. So there's a couple ways to open the trunk on this vehicle. The first way is with the key fob. Unfortunately, I don't have that. Second way is with the button on the headliner, which I just showed you. And the third way is a traditional way. You're gonna come up to it, push the button. It should beep and the lights will flash and then it'll automatically open for you. With the seats in the upright position, you still get a decent amount of cargo space back here. Definitely go uh, on a light Costco trip for some uh, bath tissue and some uh, uh, toilet paper or paper towel. Room for a full size spare, incandescent cargo lighting, little metal D hooks to keep stuff down. Right here, when you're done with your business, come back here, push the button, and then it will automatically close for you. Let's take a quick look at the window sticker. So here's a window sticker for this guy. Again, it's a 2022 Compass Limited, starting at 26,390 and up to 31 miles to the gallon. Here's all of the features that this guy has. I'll go slow over it, or you guys can pause the video if you need to. So there you have it, the 2022 Jeep Compass Limited. If you like the video, please consider giving me a like and share. Also, if you wanna keep up to date on more auto show content, please consider subscribing to the channel and be sure to check out all the affiliate links in the description below that greatly help out the channel. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day. That's basically Courtney's van. That's sharp, man.